Welcome to my tutorial series on the F-104 Starfighter mod for DCS World. Today I'll be taking a look at how to employ the air-to-air -air missiles on the F-104. Let's get started. I'll start by going over the types of air-to-air -air missiles that the F-104 can carry. We'll start with the F-104S, the upgraded Italian version of the Starfighter. This mod comes with two versions of the F-104S. The standard air-to-air -air version and the air-to-ground version. This is due to the limitations of the FC-3 avionics that the mod is based on. We'll be using the air-to-air -air version since it can carry all of the available air-to-air -air missiles for all of the versions, including the F-104G. The F-104S mod can carry the AIM-9B, AIM-9L, and AIM-9M versions of the Sidewinder missile. and the AIM-7M Sparrow missile as well. I'm not sure if the AIM-9M was historically carried, but the AIM-9L and AIM-7 are historical for the F-104S. The F-104G only ever had the AIM-9B that I'm aware of. The F-104 mod uses the F-15C avionics, which means that it requires the F-15C module or Flaming Cliffs 3 in order to work. It also means that operating the weapon systems of the F-104 mod is pretty much exactly like it is on the F-15, minus the AMRAMs. We'll need to have the target designator control set up for the Starfighter. So, designator, down, left, right, and up, and then of course target lock. I'm just using my one of my hat switches for this. We'll also need the weapon release button. This one right here. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get right into actually using this stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is press the I key on the keyboard, that will turn on the radar. I'm going to press the 2 key on the keyboard, not number pad 2, the number display 2, in order to bring up the beyond visual range radar page. We've got our F-104 here with two AIM-7M Sparrows and two AIM-9M Sidewinders as well. got him locked up using our target lock button, and then we'll press the weapon release button and hold, Fox 1, this is a MiG-21 by the way, you can see here the HUD is very, is just like an F-15, a little worrisome here that he has air-to-air -air missiles, but Fox 1, hopefully it tracks, and we got him, Splash 1 MiG-21. Now we're not quite done yet, because somewhere around here, I also had some IL-76s, which are just Russian transport aircraft. I won't get into dogfighting in this tutorial, I'll save that for a separate video. But for now we're going to press the 3 key to bring up vertical scan mode, and that will also automatically select the Sidewinder. Fox 2. Splash 1.
So I've got one locked up here. Fox 3, or actually Fox 2, not Fox 3. Now I'm gonna press C to turn on the gun. And I'll just use the gun trigger to fire the gun. And there goes another one just for fun because we're out of missiles. Let's see if we can get this last one and wrap this tutorial up. So I'm gonna roll down on him from the top here. Just throwing the gun tutorial in as an added bonus. Whoops. I think I might have run into him. Nope. I think we're good. Although I almost did for sure. Let's mop up this last one right here. This is something that I'll cover in more detail in the dogfighting tutorial, but this is a very, very dangerous flight characteristic of the F-104 that occurs if you pull too much alpha, which is why I had to eject right there. A lot of good it did. Anyway, that is my air-to-air -air missiles tutorial for the F-104 Starfighter, and I even threw in the guns as well. It's really not that difficult. You just have to have the gun trigger or weapon fire button bound as your trigger, as well as know what, what the key command is to turn on the gun, which is C on the keyboard, or you can have it bound to something on your joystick. Hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.